Macy, obviously great fight. Congratulations on the victory. You've had a few minutes now. How do you feel the fight went and how do you feel about your performance? Um, you know, I worked, I worked my ass off for this fight. Uh, I didn't have one day off um, and I worked all different areas of MMA. Uh, basically living at the gym. I mean, I went home at night, don't, don't get me wrong, but, but I, coaches like would come into the gym and be like, what are you doing here? You know, take, take a break, you know? And I just feel like there's just so much more to be done, so much more to learn, and it, it's not gonna get any easier. These girls aren't getting any nicer, you know? They're all extremely tough, and I feel like I gotta catch up. I got a lot of work to do, you know? Um, and I just feel like I really proved that, that uh, I have really strengthened my grappling. I've really strengthened my wrestling, and I, and I was able to really grapple and, and kind of handle, you know, true 145 or very well. So, uh, you know, there's a lot that I need to go back to the drawing board with and work on. There's always things to work on, but um, I knew this fight was going to be mine. Like, no one was going to take this away from me. I worked too hard to get here, and, and I mean, I'm, I'm just, I'm ready to do more. I'm ready, I'm, it's, it's super emotional because it's this, you know, uh, like I said, it's just been it's just been nonstop, and um, it's not going to get any easier. So I got to keep going. When did you have that realization that you need, you need like okay, I've just got to put more hours in the gym? Yeah. When did you have that moment? Um, I want to say it was the Raquel fight, but it it wasn't really. You know, that was a short notice fight, and and I've been working my ass off. You know, even for that fight. Uh, but I just you know I'm watching these women, and they're and they're they're tough. I mean, these aren't people that you can just go in there and take out. Sometimes I mean, you have to be able to go two rounds, go three rounds, you know? Um, so I just, I just need to strengthen everything uh, all around, and mentally and physically. When you do that and then you go in there and perform, do you feel the difference when you're in there? You? I, f I feel a huge difference. I feel, like, I feel like I can see a lot clearer, you know, and start making better decisions in my head and my mind um, now that I'm having a full grasp of like, like a complete, complete MMA background, like the grappling, the wrestling, the striking. You know, um, and I always want to keep people guessing that they, that oh, if you're gonna go and do this to me, well, you don't know. I've been working this, you know. So uh, it's just getting better. A few marks, obviously, but how are yeah. you feeling after the fight? When would you like to get back in yeah. there? I feel great. Um, man, I mean, you know, I'm loving fighting at 45 and 35. So we'll see what we're what we're gonna do. Uh, I really wanted to come in a, in a, in a 45 and stir some things up. So we'll see what we'll catch. Good stuff. Uh, what was going through your mind when you heard that scorecard for 29-28 for her? I thought that was a little crazy. Yeah. I thought that was a little crazy. Um, I don't know. Maybe it was a maybe it was some a few significant strikes that she landed. Um, she's solid as a rock. I threw a kick and I, and I kind of like went back. I was like, holy shit, you know? She's like a wall. Um, so I don't know. I mean, that's a great question. Maybe you should ask him. <laughs> and then you said you wanted to come in and stir some shit up at the featherweight division, but yeah. where do you go from here? Because your champion has to, is yeah. going to try to get her other title back, and there's really no – she hasn't said anything about the featherweight division. Well, anymore. Norma was on a three-fight win streak, and, uh, I mean, she pretty much smashed the last few girls that she's gone against. So, I mean, if Amanda wants to fight at 45, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm willing to get ready for that fight. So is it 45 for, from here on out? Like 35 is completely out of the question. No, I'm 35 is still in the – Still in the mix, but uh, I'm having fun at 45. You know, I, I get to I get to strength train a lot. I get to I get to train 24/7 and fuel my body. You know, I don't have to run 50 miles a week. I'm still running 25 to 30, but it's not 50. I mean, 45 is in such a it's always been such a weird division. Right? Yeah. You feel like it. You can be that face that sort of carries this division forward into the yeah. future for the UFC, where it, the UFC really seems like it's yeah. searching for somebody. Yeah, I mean it's crazy because there's a lot of girls that fight at 35 that could really go up and fight at 45. I mean a bunch of us could go up and down. There's a lot of girls that have a tough time to make 35. You know that could be true 45ers. So I mean, yeah, I would love to be a face, but I know there's girls out there that are that can make the weight and uh, should be making the weight. Um, but yeah, I mean it's still slim picking, so we we just got to grow it. Last one for me, but you've really kind of grown up in the UFC. Yeah. Like you, you came into the UFC 2-0, yep. yep. and now you, you, you are where you are. Yeah. What's that been like? Like You feel now that you're fully confident in where you are and where, where you, how far you've come. Growing up in the UFC is like jumping into an open water full of sharks and hoping not to get bit, <laughs> right? Uh, but you're going to get bit, right? So it's like you're already going in, right? So now I need to just become that shark and just swim with them. Do you feel like you are that shark? I feel like I'm getting there, yeah. I feel like I'm that shark. I'm going to be that great white. Congrats. Thank you. You mentioned that people should be making weight. 
Um, obviously, there was a big weight miss. Yeah. And there was some controversy about the scales. Yeah. What was there your opinion about that? Uh, over this past weekend? I've heard all kind of crazy shit. I've, heard, I've been hearing some, like, conspiracy theory stuff. <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I thought that was weird. Um, when I went to weigh in uh, Friday morning before the official weigh-ins, I noticed that my, like, my weight went from 145.5 to, like, 144.8. So I was like, oh, let me just eat some fruit on the scale and, and go up to 45, because I wanted to make 45 on the dot. Um, and, uh, and then I got a call from one of the UFC employees, and they're like, okay, the scale's off. And I was like, oh my god. So I went back and uh, checked my weight, and I was still good. But uh, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I, I can't really point fingers. Maybe it was like a, you know, somebody was pressing buttons or something, and you know, there was a language barrier. I, don't, I have no idea. So, but. Uh, yeah, I mean, who knows? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>